Hello everyone, welcome to Tia's Natural Soaps and All Things Pampered. I am making some mini bath bombs. And everybody who knows me know I hate making bath bombs. I even have the little handheld press and I still hate making bath bombs. However, my best good girlfriend, daughter, would like bath bombs. And she would like mini ones. Her mom would like the mini ones because her daughter thinks that she could take baths every day. So she usually chopped the bath bombs in half. So I told her I'll make some. She asked for smaller ones and I told her I'll make some mini bath bombs. And Miss Asia wanted some summer scents. So I have some already that I started, but I just wanted you to see the process. So you squeeze it together and get all out of it, all the excess um, bath bomb mixture out of the mold. And what I do is I tap the top, and this is a mini mold versus, let me show you a bigger mold that I use, versus a mold this size that you put together so you can see the difference. And this is a pain. So... I tap the top, flip it, tap the other side, hit the sides, hit the sides, because it's almost like you're cracking it like an egg, but make sure you squeeze it tight. Oh, see, that's why I hate doing it. So, I have to start all over. I'm going to start all over. And no, I don't use gloves when I do this, because sometimes the gloves... Just get in your way. But my hands are very clean. I clean up underneath my nails and everything. So, And this scent I'm making here is called Tahitian Waterfall. Or should I say Tahitian Waterfall Type. Um, by Nature's Garden. That's the provider of the... Uh, a lot of ingredients you can get for your soaps, bath bombs, they sell scents, candle wax, carrier oils, a little bit of everything. I have a, a few distributors that I deal with, but if people keep raising up all these prices and shipping prices, I will be researching new companies. I understand we had a pandemic, on the other hand, home crafters and art people who do things from their home, these businesses have not lost any money. Matter of fact, they made more money because the simple fact people were stuck in the house trying to find different ways of income. And this went on for a whole year. So you have all these candle companies, these fragrance oil companies, herbal companies, we already know that wood and metal was just hard to get and was just crazy. And the price almost tripled for a piece of lumber. So, um, I don't get it. Even like with the postal, post office, UPS, all that stuff. So, this is the mini bath bomb. So, and I made a big mixture so what I'm doing is I'm doing everything in this small little cup here because I want to do different scents. And so far I did um, pineapple. Right now I'm doing a Tahitian waterfall. I did lemon zest. I might do coconut and watermelon. And um, her daughter is a little busybody. Maybe I'll do some lavender bath bombs so she can go to sleep at night. Because so she, in school, she's very smart, the little girl, very intelligent. But she also is a flyer. If you don't know what that is, it's a little acrobat squad that she's on. So since she's the smallest, she's the flyer. So that's the one that they toss up in the air. It'll be scary sometimes to the little girls. But you got to trust your teammate. So she's a flyer. She's been doing it for some time now. She speaks Cantonese. And 
I think she speaks Spanish. And she get good grades. Very respectful little girl. So here's my bath bombs. I just wanted to show you how tedious this is. So a lot of times I do not do bath bombs in advance anymore because I don't want them to sit. So if people place an order for a bath bomb, um, if they pay for it in advance, I will start the bath bombs. I like to dry them from 24 to 48 hours. So you normally will get your, I normally will ship them out within three days from the time I make them. So, um, and maybe four, depending on, you know, the post office or whatever. A lot of times I do the self postage, but if you order bath bombs, you, it will take me at least three up to four days to actually ship it because I do have to let them dry. Toodles and thanks for watching.